الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I welcome you to today's episode of Sahur Kitchen. My name is Amina Adams. Today, inshallah ta'ala, I have two friends taking on each other. You remember this is the head-to-head -head where we have friends, siblings, relatives, um, co-competitors, swim industry, whatever it is that you want to um, challenge, whoever you want to challenge, you bring them on and we help you settle the score. So today, inshallah ta'ala, I have two friends taking on each other. I have Aisha Bolaji. She's taking on Asia. Additional. Additional. But your friends from school? Yes. Okay, what school? Secondary school. Interesting. So your friendship is about 10 years old or more? No. Is it all less than that? It's less than that. So yeah. how many years? Should be like seven years. Seven years are close enough. So who made who, who went after who first? Um, the thing is, when we were in secondary school, um, in our area, they do organize extramural class for us. Okay. So we attended the same secondary extramural school class, yeah. and the same extramural class. So it's from there we each up together. Okay, so it was a much, both of you found yourselves. Yes. Who was it that attracted you to her? Was she very talkative in class? Yes, uh -huh. she was. <laughs> I, I, I figured it out. So she's always asking questions, always answering questions. Like, was that what it was? Was that what got your attention first? Not really, no, no, no. Like, did she walk up to you and say, oh, you are a Muslim, me, I'm a Muslim, let's be friends? No, we just became friends, like, out of... We just became friends. In school then, we were joking with each other because there was a name they usually called me. Mm -hmm. What they used to call you? Among ourselves. Yao Sineto. Why? Yao Sineto. So we were joking that we will marry in the future, like that, like that. So I was like, Mio, mm -hmm. I'm going to marry a senator. Uh -uh. So since then, Yao even senator. some people in our hair don't know my name. It's Yao Senator. Yao Senator. Awesome. Yao senator. Interesting, alhamdulillah. So who challenged you to this kitchen? She. Yeah. Ah, okay. Because you're a better cook, you're leaving out to chance. Oh, that's what happens there. Do you cook at home normally? Yes. Okay. But you're yeah, just humble like that. Just don't want to take chances, just in case. I like that. All right, Kitchen Hacks is up next. We'll be waiting for you in the kitchen. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Sao Kitchen Axe, where we show you little tricks on how to become a master in the kitchen. Today, I want to prepare something and the main ingredient is barbecue sauce and I don't have any barbecue sauce. So, what I want to do now is I want to make a quick barbecue sauce and I'm going to show you how. The thing is there are two main ingredients you need for barbecue sauce. Ketchup and sugar. All these remaining stuff here are just extra things that you put in. So to start, you just take some sugar, and you put it in your ketchup and you mix it and this is your barbecue sauce my own way of making my barbecue sauce is I like to add some flavor to it to make it special so one of the first things I do is I add a few drops of oil then I love my herbs so this is oregano. I love using oregano for my baby barbecue. So I'm just going to put a few. Then, this right here is paprika. I like my barbecue to be a little spicy. So I add my paprika, and it helps to give it that really nice deep red color. Then I like my barbecue to have a sort of earthy smell, earthy flavor, so I'm using nutmeg. Just a little. And lastly, I love my ginger. So I'm adding some ginger to it. And that's it. So I mix it all up till it's well incorporated. And that is my barbecue sauce. Tastes just like barbecue sauce. So thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye for now. This Ramadan, start your day with the goodness of peak to help you stay nourished through the day. Encourage acts of kindness, big or small, and share love 
and nourishment with everyone around you. Stay nourished from Sahu to Ifta. Ramadan Karim. Peak. Reach for your peak. It is time for the I Beauty Eat Fun Fair this year. The fun fair is picnic style, which means you can come with your rugs and mats to enjoy some relaxed family time with loved ones. I Beauty Eat Fun Fair features loads of interesting games, ride, family competition, exhibitions, and more. The fun list includes Bouncing Castle, Ferris Wheel, Teacup Ride, Tug of War, Sack Race, Hijab and Gilly Tying Contest, Kitty's Cooking Competition, PlayStation, Snooker, and so much more. The I Beauty Eat Fun Fair holds at the Colorful Fun Factory, Admiralty Way, Lucky Face one and also at the prestigious fun pack beside Itamaga bus stop Ikorodu Lagos. One event, two locations for one beautiful Omar. Ticket 2000 Naira flat. Discount of 500 Naira if you buy your tickets before event day. For bookings, please visit www.ibeautyinspire.com. All COVID-19 protocols will be duly observed. So, no nose mask, no entry. For more information, please call Habib on 0701-728460 or wrote to me on 080 0512760062. This event is proudly supported by Right Foods Limited, CGI District, Indomie Nido, and Kaira Milk Buy. So, lots of freebies for everyone. See you all there. Inshallah. Yeah, welcome back. If you're just joining us, ASL Sahar Kitchen, and the heat is about to be turned on. Asia and Aisha, my voice is all that you need. Once I tell you to take off your mask, you have 30 seconds to select all the ingredients you're going to be cooking with. You have bowls in the double door red cabinet behind you. Come to the table, pick what you need. By pick, I mean select what you need. You have to scoop into your own bowls. You are not allowed to lift any bowl from this table. Are we clear? Yes. yes all right then, if you're ready, I'm ready. Please take off your mask. Your 30 seconds starts now. You're down to the last ten seconds. first time in this kitchen that you've finished selecting before I count down. Well done. All right, we're going to a quick break. Our contestants have selected what they intend to cook. We'll figure it out when we come back. Stay tuned. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Introducing Yala, a new digital platform that offers easy, accessible, and affordable travel solutions for Muslim pilgrims. Get started today by visiting yala.ng or download the Yala mobile app on the Google Play Store. Yala. Hajj and Umrah, the easy way. It is time for the I Beauty Eat Fun Fair this year. The fun fair is picnic style, which means you can come with your rugs and mats to enjoy some relaxed family time with loved ones. I Beauty Eat Fun Fair features loads of interesting games, ride, family competition, exhibitions, and more. The fun list includes Bouncing Castle, Ferris Wheel, Teacup Ride, Tug of War, Sack Race, Hijab, and Gilly Tying Contest, Kitty's Cooking Competition, PlayStation, Snooker, and so much more. The I Beauty Eat Fun Fair holds at the Colorful Fun Factory, Admiralty Way, Lucky Face one and also at the prestigious fun pack beside Itamaga bus stop Ikorodu Lagos. One event, two locations for one beautiful Omar. Ticket 2000 Naira flat. Discount of 500 Naira if you buy your tickets before event day. For bookings, please visit www.ibeautyinspire.com. All COVID-19 protocols will be duly observed. So, no nose mask, no entry. For more information, please call Habib on 0701 728460 or wrote to me on 080 
0512706062. This event is proudly supported by Right Foods Limited, CGI District, Indomie Nido, and Kaira Milk Buy. So, lots of freebies for everyone. See you all there. Inshallah. Yeah, welcome back, ASL Sahur Kitchen. If you're just joining us, my contestants have selected what they want. Let me come to you first, Asia. What did you pick? No onion, no. You don't cook with onion normally, you forgot. Uh -huh. Okay, what are you cooking for us? Concussion, nice one, sharp, sharp. What are we doing here? What do you plan to cook for us? The, your sauce, so no, no onion. You don't cook with onion normally. Forgot. <laughs> okay. We'll eat it like that. Hopefully, it'll be tasty. Your cooking time is 20 minutes exactly. Once 20 minutes is up, you need to turn off your cookers. Your cooking starts now. Start cooking. So, let me come to you first, Aisha. What do you do? I'm a Taylor. Ketra. Ketra, Ketra. I see. What do you. Why Ketra, though? Okay. Why Ketra? You enjoy cooking? Oh, it's just oh, for the baking. money. Okay, it's no. mostly baking. Yeah. How, when, do you do it professionally or? Yeah, I do it professionally also. How often do you cater to events, like bake for weddings, anniversaries, stuff yeah, like that? I started collecting jobs for weddings. Because I think my height is not good. Okay. What did you study? No, for the kitchen. I went for the kitchen. Okay. Learning it, okay. So, and so how many years ago was this? Uh, uh, so you've been learning. Why have you just started making money from it? I do make money. It's just that I'm not satisfied. I keep trying to improve. I'm exploring more. Okay. So I feel I need to explore more. So what did you study originally in school? Oh, mashallah, tabarakallah. So are you working towards it already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Let me come to you, Asya. It looks like you have been using some jazz on me. Do you work or? What do you do? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Okay, what are you studying? Yeah. Ah, interesting. Why accountant? Did you always want to be an accountant? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Who, who's mentoring you? Who's your mo role model? Brother. Oh, he's making money, bringing in the money. So you feel... Or you think there's nothing else to, uh, it's just the money that is making you want to do account and your brother? Or what exactly inspired you? I just you? love, um, listen, I love accounting. What exactly in accounting? Because I me, mean, I don't understand. Accounting. <laughs> I just love calculating and all. Oh, so I went to, I mean, I went for, um, listen, account. I just, I just chose accounting. Okay. Um, yeah. And so how has it been meeting your expectations? You know, <sighs> what you wanted to do is what you're doing. Yes. Are you, are you going to pursue this professionally? Yes. So you started doing ICANN and the likes? No, I'm going to do that after my graduation. Oh, I see. Why wait till then? Why can't you combine it? Uh, money. Money, yes. I see. You want to make money first. <laughs> Let me help you set it. Um, all right. Okay, so, um, Asia. Oh, no, like Aisha. Aisha, yeah. actually. Yeah. What do you do other than baking? I also teach. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew because I think I heard something about teaching when you were talking. So what, what do you teach? I teach primary school, secondary uh, school. Primary school, the lower primary, the kids, mm. as in the KG, nursery and the likes. Okay. I I'll come back to you in a bit. We'll go on a quick break. Stay tuned.
furniture makes your living better. It is time for the I Beauty Eat Fun Fair. This year, the Fun Fair is picnic style, which means you can come with your rugs and mats to enjoy some relaxed family time with loved ones. I Beauty Eat Fun Fair features loads of interesting games, ride, family competition, exhibitions, and more. The fun list includes Bouncing Castle, Ferris Wheel, Teacup Ride, Tug of War, Sack Race, Hijab and Gilly Tying Contest, Kitty's Cooking Competition, PlayStation, Snooker, and so much more. The I Beauty Eat Fun Fair holds at the colorful fun factory at Miralty Way, Lucky Face One, and also at the prestigious fun pack beside Itamaga Bus Stop, Ikorodu Lagos. One event, two locations for one beautiful Omar. Ticket, 2,000 Naira flat. Discount of 500 Naira if you buy your tickets before event day. For bookings, please visit www.ibeautyinspire.com. All COVID-19 protocols will be duly observed. So, no nose mask, no entry. For more information, please call Habib on 701 828460 or wrote to me on 08051 276062. This event is proudly supported by Right Foods Limited, CGI Distri, Indomie Nido, and Kaira Milk Buy. So, lots of freebies for everyone. See you all there. Inshallah. Yeah, welcome back. It's still Sahu Kitchen, and I was with you, Aisha, just for you teach kindergarten and primary school, or just kindergarten? Kindergarten. Why did you pick those? I just love taking the kids because I feel if I'm taking the lower or PM upper primary, mm -hmm. they will give me much stress than you. Eh, so these children can do it, and anything you say, they must do. It's not everything I say they must do, but at least. They are easier to get along with. Mm. Kindergarten. Am I saying the same? Yeah, we saw these yeah, people that yeah. scatter everywhere in one go. Oh, they it's scatter not everything. the kindergarten. I say, I, is it that I say the nursery section okay. or the friendly section? Okay. No. Uh, the nursery section, one or two. Okay. But at once. So you keep them for moving school? Yeah, the moving school. Okay. After okay. now, how far? How fast? Yeah. How's your cooking going? It's going on fine. Everything on, on point? Yes. No stress? No pressure? No pressure? No. Okay, no. how was growing up for you? You went to a Muslim school, right? You no. guys met in school? No. So at your school, your secondary school was not a Muslim government. school? It's in your uh, college, it was a government school. And you were allowed to use the hijab? No, then no. we were not allowed to use the hijab. We used berets. Okay. Then. So when did you start wearing the hijab? Actually, we grew up in a Muslim home. Okay. My mom, we, what we know how to do is... Your mom? Yes. She she used to pray a lot. So oh, sure. she prays at her youth. Even while we, we, while we that we are covering up like this, at times she'll be like, hey, where are your money? Eh? That you be me, can you cook in the corn? So she's our um, male, male... Please be careful with the knives. They are very, very sharp. So she's your mentor, your yeah. mom is your mentor. She doesn't wear the jilbab. No, but till she, now. she puts on the jab. Oh, mashallah, interesting. So why did you wear the jilbab? Where did you pick that up? In school? Uh, in school and the lesson we attended. So we are were, we were, we were put through so many programs mm. that we do attend. Mm. So, so Islam was part there. of it, part yeah. of the programs. Um, yeah. that, does that mean you do his as well? You memorize the Quran at yeah, lesson? Yeah, yeah. How far have you gone with the memorization? Actually, mm -hmm. I'm When I ask that kind of question, is there a like, that actually is like, you know? <laughs> the third yes. juice. Third okay, you've done yeah. very well. So, I'll have a question for you on that. Start to think of everything about the third juice that you know. <laughs> Asya, Nam. how far? Are you at same, you're at same lesson we have? No? Yes. Okay, so you're also learning hymns. Are you also on the third juice or no, you've gone higher? Third juice. Oh, boss, boss, you're on the same level. Can't you? Can't, I mean, I don't understand. Can't you up your game? So, who's dragging who? Who's pulling whose weight? Who's helping who? We're Both helping each other. Oh, so, do you do, do, you, do you go to sessions on your own? Like, do you help yourself with restoration? Yes. Do you do Muraja together uh, outside the classroom? Yes. Oh, so that's sort of like your, your friendship tends to blossom. No. Interesting. So, let me ask you first, because um, you mentioned third juice. Can you mention the top five from the first of the juice on juice? What's the third juice? So let me be sure. This is Mujadila. Mujadila. So, Mujadila, then let me mention the next four. Uh, Mujadila. Um, be listening Muntai, to our opportunity to punish her. 
Then, um, which one is this? Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's in Surat too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, are you ready? You can freeze her cooking for 30 seconds. You can collect what she's cooking with and deprive her of it. So, I'm The next one is Tola. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like you don't know it. The it's... first one is Mujadila. Uh -huh. The second one is um, Mutahana. Mm -hmm. Then the next one is um mm -hmm. Um any ideas? Ashu. Go on. Um I mean... Alright, so you guys are both struggling. You obviously need to do a lot of revision. We'll still come back to this. You you need to punish her when I come back from this break. Alright, let's go to the cocktail boulevard. Let's learn a few mixes that we can use for Eid and Iftar or even at Saru. Who says you can't have this lovely cocktail at Saru? Stay tuned. Hi guys, this is Cocktail Boulevard. The mythology is here. Puzzles. So today I'm running with orange, biggie orange. Very, very simple. I'm doing something really, really simple. I don't want to stress you guys today because I love you guys. You know I do. From right fruits, you know we do. That's why we, we, we have to make different variety available for you. So don't forget, we have the apple, biggie apple, the best. I love my apple. But today, it's not about apple, I'm doing orange today. So let's, let's start, let's start. Don't let me waste your time. Um, let me get my lemon wedges. You know now, I love prepping my, my things. So I have my lemon wedges. Lemon juice is here. My shaker is here. Come on, I'm shaking today, I'm not building. Let me shake. My big orange. Oh, baby. Um, I think, I'm doing coconut syrup, watermelon syrup. Let's have this tropical taste with the orange. So let's get my ice. Fish taco. Measure my You know now, I need to balance my drink. So I like the lemon being the base, the lemon juice, the base. I just need 25. Sorry, I didn't tell you guys. 25. Um, Coconut syrup. Coconut syrup. You can get anywhere. Very easy. You can make it at home, actually. I'm not going to teach you. Then, let's add one more syrup, I think. Let's do watermelon. 25. Then we shake. Um, the reason why I want to shake for is I'm not stirring, I'm not doing anything, I'm pouring. I want to shake for it. I need that acidic mix. So, so shake. Mm. So, like I told you, I have my lemon wedges already, I think. I think this is fine. Little bit of ice. But I don't want it to be a set of Orange, the orange. I'm topping up, then I will step. So let me top up. Then you can step. It's actually beautiful this way, but when you want to drink, you try and step. But you know what? Let me just stand so that you guys can see. I'm not going to forget my garnish. Let's 
destroy. It is time for the Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair. This year, the fun fair is picnic style, which means you can come with your rugs and mats to enjoy some relaxed family time with loved ones. Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair features loads of interesting games, ride, family competition, exhibitions, and more. The fun list includes Bouncing Castle, Ferris Wheel, Teacup Ride, Tug of War, Sack Race, Hijab and Gilly Tying Contest, Kitty's Cooking Competition, PlayStation, Snooker, and so much more. The Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair holds at the Colorful Fun Factory at Miralty Way, Lucky Phase 1, and also at the prestigious Fun Pack beside Itamaga Bus Stop, Ikorodu Lagos. One event, two locations for one beautiful Omar. Ticket 2000 Naira flat, discount of 500 Naira if you buy your tickets before event day. For bookings, please visit www.ibeautyinspired.com. All COVID 19 protocols will be duly observed, so no nose mask, no entry. For more information, please call Habib on 0701. 1-728460 or wrote to me on 08051-276062 This event is proudly supported by Right Foods Limited, CGI Distry, Indomie Nido and Kaira Milk Buy So, lots of freebies for everyone See you all there Inshallah Saho Kitchen and just before the break I had a question for Aisha, she didn't get it right, she remembered only two surahs um, from the top five surahs in Strato, um, in Juz Mujadila um, Aisha tried to you know, save her but obviously it's not even for you to save <laughs> apparently, you can punish her what would you like to deprive her of, you can take something from her kitchen or <laughs> nothing, nothing. nothing. Uh, just like that Yes. What don't you, you don't have mercy on her, you think that she will have mercy on you you see when it comes to when push comes to shop, she will help you. <laughs> she will. Uh -uh. You know that well. Okay, inshallah. So let me talk, talk, tell me, talk me through what um, inspires you. How do you keep up with the heaps classes? Why you know any distractions? If there are distractions, how do you handle the distractions? What keeps you going? Mm, distractions. There are a lot of distractions though. Um, I go to school every week and come back home every mm. weekend because okay. our mother size at um, it's, in, it's, a, it's a target game. Okay. So I come back every weekend. So it wasn't easy memorizing, going to school and all that. So though I've left Madrasa for now. Mm. So after graduation, then I will continue. So you, so you on, on just the on the um, just Mujadila, yes. on, on your own, you continue to push. So you hope I'm, to. I'm always in Roger from um, just Mujadila to. Me. I'm just, I'm uh, Okay, my Baraka love you. Well um, done. Is that the same story with you? What's yours? Because she's in school, so that makes it tougher for her. You are an entrepreneur, you're on your own, sort of, or what's it? Yes. So are you able to, so how do you, how do you keep up with your pace, basically? I do my Muraja at home because um, there was a time I was stuck up with something, so I couldn't continue the madrasa then. Okay. So, is at home I develop myself personally. Hmm. Any help from how do you ensure that your Ted read is correct? Actually, is there any corrections? Where do you go to? I'm, I'm curious. I have so many people that are higher than me in the in your class. Yeah. Okay. Even my sister's friend. Okay. Is an officer. Mm, so yeah, she takes us. Oh, yeah, even during this Ramadan, my she brother takes too. Us Happy. Yeah. Oh, mashallah. Aren't you so fortunate? So, I have more questions for you. Other than the Quran, what, what else do you learn about Islam or where do you learn? Do you do fiqh? Do you do, you know, all those? Mm. 
I buy books and read um, about Islam. Yes. And I go to, I attend lectures. Okay. In school, yeah. We go to different lectures. Mm. In school, even at home too. Okay. So if I have questions to ask you on Hadith, the Sahabas, you can help, you, can, you think you can do it. I'll try. That's right. Okay, give me 10 top Sahabas. Oh, let me say 10 top. Just mention any 10 Sahabas that you remember. Okay. The Omar. companions. Omar. Um, um, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. Um, um, Ali. Ali. Yeah. Umar bin Al-Aziz. Umar bin Al-Aziz. Uh, the first one is bin Umar bin Yeah. Um, That's just four. Six to go. <laughs> hmm. Tough and tough. She can't help you. She's busy on her own cooking. She's not even thinking. Yeah, I'm your own on this matter. Just be doing your thing. Yeah, just make sure it's fall. Your own is coming. Okay. You don't know where I'm bringing your own from. Oh, yeah. Forgotten. I can't. Forgotten. Yay. Yeah. Forgotten. Yeah. Ah. The, the companions. That we uh, um they even either. Okay. Um and um ah. very popular. Okay, I'm here. She mentioned that. She mentioned the four caliphs. Ali Bun Abitali. She mentioned the four caliphs already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've, you've, you've mentioned five. Yes. Yes. Oh, Marshall. Oh, Marshall. That's if she will punish you. Okay. You're time to punish. No. <laughs> For your mind, pass. Oh, yeah, help out. <laughs> the remaining five. Oh, yeah. Which one has she mentioned? She has mentioned the four cards and then Zayd and Harris. Um, mm -hmm. where it's been, I forgot in the. Oh, yeah, continue. Where is. Um. um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? Go to Lekeo, go to Lekeo. I left Magasa. I went to. You see? You see? We're going to break. Well, we'll come back from this break. You see how they are sharing mercy because they both know that this madrasa something that we're talking about <laughs> is affecting both of them. So they're using corner corner to help each other. Anyways, we'll go see what the chef is up to. Chef Shelt is up next. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Chef's special segment. Brought to you by TGI Distri, makers of Terra Seasoning Cubes, Golden Terra Soy Oil and Big Bull Rice. Today we are making churros. I'm going to start off by heating up my sauce pot. In here I have water, pour that in. Then I'll put in a few drops of golden terra soil oil. Then lastly, so yeah, I have flour and I have sugar. I'm going to add my sugar in. So what's going to happen is this is going to heat up and it's going to boil. As it's boiling, the sugar will melt and integrate into the water. Now, if once I add my flour and sugar in, what's going to happen is when I fry it, you'll be able to feel some grains of sugar in it. That's what I want. So now this is going to heat up. Once it's done heating up, I will add my flour in and the remaining of my sugar and mix it up well. This two here is what we're going to use to make our chocolate ganache. So the chocolate ganache is basically chocolate and milk. So once you feel one side is ready, you can just flip it. This is what we're going to use for our dip. As you can see, chocolate is beginning to melt into the milk. My churros is already cooled. It's still a little hot, but it's good enough. And I'm just going to put it into my piping bag. So it shouldn't take long to fry, about three minutes should be fine. Just continue frying it until it has a nice golden color. 
So now that little batch is ready. Just going to bring it out. So this is my churros. I'm sorry I'm holding it too on my hand. I'm going to eat it too now. This is out of this world. Okay. You need to continue eating now. Um, thank you all for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye. It is time for the Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair. This year, the Fun Fair is picnic style, which means you can come with your rugs and mats to enjoy some relaxed family time with loved ones. Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair features loads of interesting games, ride, family competition, exhibitions, and more. The fun list includes Bouncing Castle, Ferris Wheel, Teacup Ride, Tug of War, Sack Race, Hijab and Gilly Tying Contest, Kitty's Cooking Competition, PlayStation, Snooker, and so much more. The Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair home at the Colorful Fun Factory, Admiralty Way, Lucky Phase 1, and also at the prestigious fun pack beside Itamaga Bus Stop, Ikorodu Lagos. One event, two locations for one beautiful Omar. Ticket, 2,000 Naira flat. Discount of 500 Naira if you buy your tickets before event day. For bookings, please visit www.ibeautyinspire.com. All COVID-19 protocols will be duly observed. So, no nose mask, no entry. For more information, please call Habib on 0701 8460 or wrote me on 08051276062. This event is proudly supported by Bright Foods Limited, CGI Distri, Indomie Nido, and Kaira Milk Buy. So, lots of freebies for everyone. See you all there. Inshallah. Yeah, welcome back, ASL Saho Kitchen. This year's kitchen is sponsored by Indomie Noodles Pick Milk. We have Right Foods Limited, makers of Fearless Energy Drink, Biggie Drinks, Biggie Water, Biggie and Right Sausages. We also have TGI Distri on board. They are the makers of Big Bull Rice, Golden Terra Soya Oil, and Terra Cubes. Terra Cubes comes in three variants, shrink, beef, and chicken. So, we're down to the last five minutes, like I said earlier, but I still have a few more questions for you. Has anybody gone for Hajj here? No. no. Have you studied about Hajj? No. Why? It's one of the pillars of Islam. Why do we make that mistake? Why do we all think Hajj is up there? I'm not ready yet, so we don't know anything about Hajj. Why? And I will ask you, I will ask you, when we leave Arafat, is you or Asya, mm? on the day of Arafat, when we descend from Arafat, no. where do we head? Hmm. When we descend from Arafat, where do we head? Medina. Medina, call. <laughs> <laughs> Jeddah, <man. laughs> It's Jeddah. Hey, Auntie Aisha, when we leave Arafat, where do we go to? Uh, Musalifa. Mm -mm, Musalifa. <laughs> it's Musalifa. You're actually right. Well done. Barakallah, I'll say. You see, it's not when you are ready to go to Hajj that you then start to learn about Hajj. Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam. So it's not just your salai that you keep intact. It's not just zakah. Hajj is part of your pillars of Islam and you should know about Hajj. Don't wait till you are old, in your old age um, before you start to learn and you see how these things come up. So can you tell me the most important part of Hajj? In fact, that thing, if you miss it, this question is for you, Aisha. If you miss it, you do not have Hajj. What would that be? Arafat. Arafat day, absolutely. You think that... Um, everything you've done everything including uh, putting your golden teeth and then you you miss arafat day you miss it you miss hard you have to come back you've only gone for tourism so it's important that you learn about the pillars of islam including hajj what else let me ask you um, a few more questions about the quran since you are both on the third juice of the quran right yeah 
Can you list the first 10 chapters of the Noble Quran in the order in which they appear? Asya, let me come to you. Name the first five. Wherever you stop, I shall pick up. First five chapters in the order in which they appear. From where? Let Asya start from Fatha, the first five chapters of the Quran. Okay. Fatha, Bakura, Bakura, Ali Imran, Imran, Nisa. Nisa. Don't, don't Nisa. break the. Nisa. Ah, Nisa. Let us pick up Aisha. Arab. Hey, Nibo. No. Chapter 5. She missed it. She didn't mention it. Fatha, Bakura, Imran, Nisa. Um, hmm. Maida. Maida, keep Who going. Arab. No, Arab is 7. No, Tauba is 9. Kill all day now. <laughs> Um, oh girl, serious matter. You see, another thing we need to. Uh, Hajj, yeah! No, no, oh, no, no, no. Ah! <laughs> learn Quran, learn Quran. If, if it, this is Ramadan, it has not finished. You see, it's, where we are. Because this is from. from no, home. I'm asking from Bakora, from Fatha to the 10th chapter. I just need Fatha, Bakora, Imran, Isam, Maida, and Nam, Araf, like that. Okay. So, if you don't do anything this Ramadan, go and learn the chapters of the Noble Quran. The chapter that they appear, that was someone who come and say that there's chapter Isa in your Quran. You say yes because you don't even know. They tell you that there's Satan and Iblis chapter. You say yes because you don't know. Go and learn. There is nothing that excuses you. You're a Muslim, you've been a Muslim, you're a 40 year old Muslim, and you have no clue what the chapters of the Quran are. You have really no excuse. All right, I hope you are ready because I'm ready to stop you. By now, you should start cleaning up, getting ready to set the table. Your food should be cooked. Don't forget. When I tell you it's time up, you need to turn off your cookers. When it's time up, it's time up. Ha ha. This is the countdown. Is your food ready? Yeah, almost. I'm seeing raw pepper here. Almost, no, no, no. You, okay, the pepper that we're serving is, it's both pepper. No, not everything. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what am I eating here? At least, it's like I'll have food to eat hey, on this side. I don't eat something on this side. Even though I don't give no egg, no chicken, no turkey, the pepper too. Yes, anyway, yes, start rounding up. It's five, four, three, two, one. It's time up. Get this kitchens up next. We'll see you at the dining. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and you're welcome to yet another exciting edition of Sahur Kiddies Kitchen. My name as always is Rafia Majid Balogu. Of course you already know that this is proudly sponsored by Indomie Instant Noodles and like we've already shared with you in subsequent episodes that our top three kids for this year's Sahur Kiddies Kitchen will be going home with amazing and fantastic prizes. The winner will go home with 50,000 Naira cash and 50,000 Naira worth of other prizes. The second we go home with 30,000 Naira cash and 20,000 Naira worth of other prizes. And the third we go home with 20,000 Naira cash and 10,000 worth of other amazing prizes. Now, as you already know, and I've showcased to you, we've had beautiful and amazing kids who have come here in the kitchen to, of course, perform wonders. Trust me, we never knew these kids could do what they did, but they've literally blown our minds away. Now, so far in subsequent episodes, I have shared with you kids who have made it to the top five, and today is no different, as we'll be having our kid in the second position, and that person is no other than Naima Lawal. A very big congratulations to you, Naima Lawal. I'm sure you're smiling over there, but trust me, you're of course worthy of this because you came here and you literally blew our minds off. Thank you very much for coming, but of course, I'm certain that you might have missed a time in the kitchen with us. Do well to stay tuned as I bring you a recap of a time in the kitchen here with us. Don't go anywhere.
for um, kitchen composure out of 30, 25 out of 30. For presentation, 20, I give her 19 out of 20. And for tasting, mm. out of 50, I give Nahima 40 out of 50. And that goes out to 84 out of 100. MashaAllah. So I hope you make the top three. And before you leave, I would like to present these to you. Curtsy Indomie noodles. So make sure you enjoy it very well. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So there you have it. That was Naima Lawal's time with us in the kitchen, showing her culinary skills. And of course, you know that she deserves the second position. Of course, you already know that she'll be going home with 30,000 Naira cash and 20,000 worth of other amazing, fantastic prizes. Congratulations to you once more. Of course, you already know that their prizes will be presented to them at our Eat Fun Fair happening at Fun Factory Lekki and Fun Park Ikorodu. This will, of course, take place on Eat Day and the day after Eat. So do well to join us on the two days to have fun all the way. So like, come your way next time. I'm still Rafia Majid Balogu. Salaamu Alaikum. Ramadan, start your day with the goodness of peak to help you stay nourished through the day. Encourage acts of kindness, big or small, and share love and nourishment with everyone around you. Stay nourished from Sahu to Ifta. Ramadan Karim, peak, reach for your peak. It is time for the Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair. This year, the fun fair is picnic style, which means you can come with your rugs and mats to enjoy some relaxed family time with loved ones. Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair features loads of interesting games, rhyme, family competition, exhibitions, and more. The fun list includes Bouncing Castle, Ferris Wheel, Teacup Ride, Tug of War, Sack Race, Hijab, and Gilly Tying Contest, Kitty's Cooking Competition, PlayStation, Snooker, and so much more. The Eye Beauty Eat Fun Fair holds at the colorful fun factory at Miralty Way, Lucky Face One, and also at the prestigious fun pack beside Itamaga Bus Stop, Ikorodu, Lagos. One event, two locations for one beautiful Omar. Ticket, 2,000 Naira flat. Discount of 500 Naira if you buy your tickets before event day. For bookings, please visit www.ibeautyinspire.com. All COVID-19 protocols will be duly observed. So, no nose mask, no entry. For more information, please call Habib on 701 728460 or wrote to me on 08051 This event is proudly supported by Bright Foods Limited, CGI Distri, Indomie Nido, and Kaira Milk Buy. So, lots of freebies for everyone. See you all there. Inshallah. Hey, welcome back, ASL Sahur Kitchen. And for some reasons, my guest today decided to take me from one extreme to the other extreme. You know, I've been eating raw pepper. She said, No, you cannot be raw. Let me try the last, last bus stop. She, she could go born now, but I, but I, is, let me talk, talk to you. Is this a deliberate something? Or is it a bow up? They followed you into the kitchen. Abi was in because I didn't even talk to you throughout. I was not talking it was, to it you. It wasn't deliberate. It just happened like that. But it's not me. I was not talking to you that time. It was you. Mm. You were just carried away. Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Let's taste it. Now my fear is the way the salt was going. My heart was doing like this. And then she, she, she put it. Why? So I hope it's not salt. I'm going to be eating. This let's hope so. Let's hope so because the salt, the way it was going inside. This one. Hmm. I thought I'm. 
the salt in the pasta. Mm -hmm. It is. It is, but the sauce is actually very nice. Let's see. You know there is hope for this rice to the extent that I'm not sure of where I've seen it, but I've seen burnt looking pepper used to eat rice, but I'm not sure. But that's not what you cook. Mm -hmm. It's not what you cook. Let's be very clear. Yes. Let's be clarifying. Ah, join me, join me. <laughs> Zoom in. This, this, this smell from the... It's like eating charcoal and rice. I mean... Hmm. Eat with confidence. <laughs> You know what? Me, I know what I'm having for this at home. I'm sure. How is how is how's it taste? <laughs> in all honesty, if I didn't have a choice, I'll eat this and I'll finish the entire plate. Because there's even though it's burnt, there's still some flavor coming through. So if it hadn't been burnt, it'd have been a very tasty sauce with this rice. However, I have an alternative. I have clearly tasty um, pasta with fish sauce. So, I have my sahur. I'll be having pasta for this sahur, inshallah. Well done, Jazakumullah Khairan, for giving me a good alternative. We have been bad in the past. <laughs> in bad, in bad. Well done, Barakallah Fake. This um, segment of the kitchen is cut see bed made furniture and biggie water. So, you will be going home with biggie, big bowl rice, biggie drinks, fearless energy drink, biggie water, indomie noodles. Um, we have terra cubes and, of course, the nourishing gift pack from Thick Milk. You won't go home empty-handed, you go home with Terra Cubes and Biggie Drinks. Thank you so much for coming through. We'll see you tomorrow, babies, and love another beautiful package. Until then, stay blessed.